It's on to men's health. Now we're talking fast cars, burning rubber, and men's health awareness. It seems like an odd combination here, but it actually makes perfect sense. Now the Movember campaign is reaching out in all sorts of cool and extraordinary ways, and one of their new ambassadors made sure Movember featured a thrilling motorsport competition. Two-time national drift champion Jason Webb is one of the driving forces for this year's Movember campaign as an official ambassador, and he helped bring men's health awareness to the Gymkhana Grid event. What motivated me to get involved with Movember is just, you know, to bring awareness to what Movember is. Many people don't know what it is. People just think it's a thing that people do. They don't actually know that Movember is a foundation for men's health. Um, for men's prostate cancer and uh, mental health. So I decided to get involved to bring more awareness to what Movember actually is. I always like to, to give my sponsors and the, the sort of foundations that I'm backing up, make them proud and try to be on the top spot. So I'll definitely try to push hard and get as high as I can, yeah. What's happening over the Jim Connor Grid Weekend is yesterday we had qualifying. Uh, qualified in 13th, which for the car that we have, full drift setup is pretty good. First up is top 16, we just finished with practice now, so we are up against another local boy, Isaac Van Sale from Cape Town as well, so it's going to be good. Sadly, Jason was knocked out in the early rounds of the competition, but his real winning contribution was helping to create a learning and awareness opportunity for Movember. With Movember, we're trying to get out to a wide demographic of, of people, especially men, because that is about men's health. And uh, what better place to come than a major international motorsport event? All guys love burning rubber and petrol, and uh, you've got some of the biggest names in motor racing here. Ken Block, our very own Mobro, Jason Webb, representing South Africa. So we decided to come down, make some cars clean, and raise some funds, and more importantly, come and support our Mobro, Jason Webb. Jason Webb, it's his first year as a Mobro, and he's been incredible, and it's not just him, his whole garage, all the boys at Smokem Garage in Parton Island in Cape Town, they've raised funds, and they've got stuck in, and everything we've asked of Jason this month to do, he's done with a big smile on his face. You know, brands pay a lot of money, for example, to be on his helmet and on his car, and, you know, he's quite happy to put the, the Movember tash on the front of the bonnet there and on his, on his side wings, and he's happy to, to help the cause. So what an amazing Mobro, what a great guy. Movember also hosted a fun bikini car wash as part of the campaign fundraising. Female supporters of the campaign, known as Mo Sisters, volunteered at the car wash for heartwarming reasons. It was very important for me to take part today because I've had a family that's pretty much had cancer run through it since I was about 17. I lost about eight family members in a year and a half. So cancer has been a, like a really big part of my entire life. I'm actually doing something that could benefit like people in the future, not just tomorrow, but maybe even today. I think it's important for us to get involved with Movember because obviously we need to raise awareness. Um, it's going to a good cause. And yeah, Movember is an awesome um, project. I think it helps lots of people. Guys, the month is not over yet. Fundraising lines are open until mid-December. And I think, you know, we really want to just have a nice big finish for November this year. So get involved. A small donation, a post on Facebook, it all makes a difference and it all helps. And just like Jason Webb, you know, you can also help men, you know, have a better, healthier, longer life. Put your money where your moustache is. Visit za.movember.com and see where you can make a difference and support a cause that's working to stop men dying too young.